Hey guys, B Snappy here. I'm at the Robinson Helicopter Factory in California. This is where all Robinson helicopters are made all around the world. It goes that way, and look at this, it goes way further down that way. And you are about to get an exclusive tour. Head in now. I'm with Chris Jenkins here. Chris is going to give us a tour of the Robinson Helicopter Factory. G'day Chris, how are you? I'm doing well, but... So what is your role? What do you do here? Uh, so I'm a, a senior design engineer here at Robinson. I've been here for nine years. I'm also a pilot at Robinson, so I'm a commercially an instru or instrument rated pilot. Um, so I also get to fly the aircraft we built. The first thing that blew me away here was the sheer size of the factory. Where did this actually all start? So it started in Frank Robinson's living room. Um, he decided he was going to design the world's first personal helicopter. Uh, so it started in Frank Robinson's living room, moved to a very small hangar, a uh, tin hangar on the other side of the airport, and now uh, we're here today. We have three buildings on this side of the airport, just uh, under 618,000 square feet of manufacturing floor. A massive factory, heaps of staff. How many helicopters actually roll out of here every week? Our uh, current production is about seven helicopters a week. Look what's behind this door. There's helicopters everywhere. So Chris, this is where it all starts. So That's what true. do we have here? So this is our raw material area. So all the material comes in is either bar stock, plate stock, sheet stock. Um, and then it gets uh, sent off for uh, cutting, trimming, and machining. Some of our sheet comes in rolls like this. It'll yeah. come in as a, a big sheet. Either it's a longer part that's longer than a standard sheet, or we'll cut it down to size into a smaller sheet so we can cut other parts from it. So this helicopter is ready to go. What's actually happening here? So this is uh, what we call export trading. So anything that's going overseas, um, somewhere that it can't be flown away to. Um, everything is designed to fit in a standard size shipping container. So everything gets traded up. Um, or it gets disassembled and put into crates and then shipped overseas to the customer. See here behind us, this is an R66 cabin uh, that's being disassembled for crating. Uh, so this is our upholstery department. So we have a CNC carpet cutter. So um, fabrics, leathers, uh, foams, everything else will come in here. We'll cut it to shape. Look at all the helicopters being processed right now. This is what we call cabin assembly. So um, after we've made the detail part, the sheet metal has been cut and the, uh, the brakes have been put in. They come over here to get assembled to a cabin. Over to the left, that's the tail cone assembly. So that's where they uh, take all the tail cone skins and the, the form pieces and they rip them all together in the tail cone. Look down this hallway. This factory is half a mile long. That's right, so this uh, blade stock. So we have uh, finished rotor blades. We match every rotor blade uh, for weight propagation here, uh, lift properties. So the main cabin is actually quite light and it's purposely done that way. Okay, so this is building two. This is where all the, uh, most of the machining takes place. So we have all of our mills, lathes, uh, Swiss turns, water jets, laser cutters. We have uh, detail here. Uh, so a lot of our parts come in as forging. So these are main rotor blade spindle forgings. Uh, yep. They come in as a forging. They get machined down to final size to see what you see on the helicopter. This is a powder coat oven. So they cure the powder coat. So they powder coat all the frames white um, and they cure it inside this oven. The reason we powder coat them white is because it helps with crack detection. So if you have oh. a, a crack in the frame, you can see it a lot easier. So this is landing gear assembly. So they put all the struts, the cross tubes and the skid tubes on. So so this is our engine department. So this is where we take the either the Lycoming O360, the um, O or IO540, and then the Rolls-Royce R300 turbine. We put um, any sort of necessary modifications we have to do here. So. All right, Chris, I'm starting to see some helicopters come together here. What do we have here? Uh, so this is the uh, final assembly line. So you see on the right side here, we have the R22 final assembly area. Yep. We take the cabin, the gearboxes, all the other components and make them into a helicopter. Um, the further down the pass on the right side, that's the R44 final assembly line. Here's the R66 five-seaters getting put together. You see down at the other end of the building, that's our paint department. So uh, components, detail components, the whole aircraft get pulled into the paint booth. They get sprayed with primer and paint and then pulled out and finished. So this is the uh, production flight test hangar. So all the aircraft that get uh, produced here also go through uh, this department. They get uh, all the rest of the components assembled. The rotor blades get mounted. Uh, the final rigging, the control rigging, everything gets done here. They get moved over to the side, finished, pushed out to the ramp, and first engine starts and flight tested. All right, Chris, we're outside. There's some nice, shiny new helicopters out here. What are we doing out here? Uh, so we're located on the beautiful Torrance Airport. One of the great benefits of Robinson is that everything gets produced here also gets tested here and flown here. So they do the first run-ups over there in that cordoned off area, and they come over here for the first flight test and the, uh, the rest of the production flight test certification. They just did a production test on this one, and they're starting this one up now. We've got all these shiny helicopters behind us. What are they for? 
Uh, so you see on the left here, these are a company aircraft. We use the pilot and instructor safety course, uh, this black one and these two yellow ones. Yep. The other aircraft here, this is what we call our flyaway delivery center. So all of these aircraft over here have been completed and are awaiting delivery to our customers um, in North America, South America, anywhere it can be flown away. Yeah. We have another hangar that's uh, just like this one full of helicopters that are going to the overseas exports. They'll get crated and then shipped overseas. And if you want to buy a helicopter, you know where to find one. Thanks, Chris, for the tour. Welcome. My pleasure.